first time I ever saw you I fell in love when you entered the room And when the light hit your face We were just kids but I knew right away Hey y'all, while this video may be common sense to some of you guys, there are people out there who do not know how to do this. I remember making the mistake myself of baking my turkey and it still had the gizzard bag in it, but that's a whole nother story. So right now what I'm doing is I'm taking out the legs. You want to remove the legs from behind that skin, but do not cut this skin. Do not. Just Get those legs out of there. As you see, I struggled just a little bit. And you wanna open him up and pull everything out. This is the turkey neck. That's meat, okay? We're gonna eat that. <laughs> We're gonna make that too. So you're gonna clean out the inside. Right now I'm just making sure there's nothing else inside. And just, you know, just any gunky stuff or anything so I make sure there's nothing in there and then I rinse it out by filling it up with water and pouring it out so now that we've gotten the turkey neck out of the back of the turkey we're gonna go to the front yes there's more here is the turkey liver gizzard and heart you can cook with that if you so choose. You absolutely could. You would take it out of the bag. My mom used to boil them and then cut them up and put them into her dressing, AKA stuffing. Me, I don't use them. I don't cook with them. I throw them in the garbage and I'm sorry to those who feel like this is delicate meat. I'm sorry. I just don't, I don't know how to use them. I don't know how to cook them. I'm familiar with chicken gizzards and hearts, but not turkey. So I do toss mine, but you guys, you can cook that meat as well. So right now I am just rinsing her out. You wanna rinse it through inside out on both sides and just clean the outside of it. I do not use soap. So for those of you who do, listen. My kitchen versus your kitchen, you know. We do what we do. I'm still alive. My kid's still alive. My mama taught me this way. And, you know, I'm doing well for myself. Not using soap on my meat, okay? So, <laughs> I just use plain water. But you definitely want to make sure that the inside of your kitchen sink is immaculate. That part is very, very important. And after you finish cleaning your turkey, you want to go back again and clean your sink really, really good. At this point, yes, this is where the soap come in and also some bleach because you just want to make sure you're not cross-contaminating anything and you're all set. To avoid cross-contamination, I had to get Jazz to move the camera for me. Like I said, you guys, you don't want to be touching touching stuff at this point. So I just put the turkey in the roaster preparing him to cook. But go back and lock those legs inside of that turkey skin. Put the legs back in the skin the way that you found them because this is what's going to preserve the moisture in your turkey. I feel like this is another important step. It's like dressing your baby. Go ahead and put your baby clothes on. Oh, I mean, well, maybe not because we wouldn't be cooking our babies, but you get my drift. Make sure you do this part before you start on your turkey. At this point, you guys, I walked away to go and wash my hands so that I could stop the camera. 
that's it the turkey is now ready and prepared for you to roast him deep fry him or whatever you're going to do if you are interested i do have a video up titled thanksgiving may simple and you can see how i made this turkey and made thanksgiving very very simple for those who do not know how to cook or don't like to cook a lot of food I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if this was of any assistance to you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.